hello everyone today i want to show you how to solve this nice math algebra problem so if we have uh, x y equals to 48 and x plus y is equals to 8 so we solve this problem for the values of x and y i hope so you like this video and if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section uh, now here first we call this is our equation number one and we call this is our equation number two so here we need uh, some simplifications now first we need to focus on equation number two so that from equation number two we have here we move this x to the right hand side and we get the value of y is equals to 8 minus x and we call this is our equation number three so here we need to put this value of y in equation number 2 so we get is uh, we convert this equation into the x variable so uh, after substituting this value of y in equation number 1 uh, so that equation number 1 is implies that we put this value of y here okay so we have this is x times of y and the value of y is 8 minus x is equals to 48 okay so further in the next step uh, we have this is we need to multiply this x on both of these values and it will be written as 8x minus x square is equals to 48 so further uh, you see here this equation will becomes quadratic in x variable but not into the standard form so here we need to first convert this equation into the standard form uh, so for this now uh, we move these two values to the right hand side and it will be written as x square minus 8x this is negative value when we move in the right hand side it will become positive this is positive value when we move in the right hand side it will becomes negative and and 48 is already lies in the right hand side so it is plus 48 and this whole equation is equals to zero so now you see here this equation will becomes quadratic in x variable into the standard form uh, and now here in the next step uh, uh, you already know about uh, we there are three methods to solve the quadratic equation the first one is the factorization methods the second one is completing square and the third method is the uh, by applying the quadratic formula so here i can just apply the quadratic formula to solve this quadratic equation so for this first we need to write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to one b equals to minus 8 and c is equals to 48 and we state the quadratic formula as x is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of a c divided by 2 times of a so here we need to put the values of a b and c in this nice formula so it will be written as x is equals to this is minus b the value of b is minus 8 and plus minus square root of b square b is minus 8 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 48 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 and now here in the next step <coughs> we need more simplifications and here we have this is minus times of minus becomes plus 8 and plus minus this is square root of <clears throat> minus 8 square is equals to 64 and this is uh, 4 times of uh, 80 uh, 4 times of 48 is equals to here you have 4 8s are 32 we write 2 and carry 3 4 4 are 16 16 plus uh, 3 becomes 19 so 4 times of 48 is equals to 192 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 is equal to 2 so here we need to subtract these two values and we have 8 plus minus so uh, 64 minus 192 is equals to so when we subtract these two values we will obtain here minus 128 and its whole square root so it is divided by 2 so this is the value of x uh, here we need more simplifications and uh, uh, now we rewrite these terms as so here we have this is 8 plus minus here we write this 128 as 64 times of 2 
and we know that the square root of minus 1 is equals to iota and it is divided by 2. So here we have the value of x is equals to 8 plus minus. Here we know that the square root of 64 becomes 8 into square root of 2 times of iota. And here we are already break this fraction. So we write this 2 on both of these values okay, in this way. Now you see here we need to cancel some terms. We have this is 2 4 the 8. This is also 2 4 the 8 and we get the values of x is equals to 4 plus minus 4 times of square root of 2 into iota. So we have these are the two values of x in this problem. So now here from these two values of x we need to find the corresponding values of y. So for uh, values of y first we need to copy down equation number 3 here so that our equation number 3 is written as now y is equals to 8 minus x and now uh, here we separately write uh, both of the above values of x uh, so so that first we write the positive value of x here so uh, the positive value of x is 4 plus 4 times of square root of 2 iota and here we write the negative value of x it is 4 minus 4 times of square root of 2 iota okay so these are the uh, two values of x and now here we need to put these two values of x in equation number 3 so we write our equation number 3 here it is y equals to 8 minus x so when you put this value of x here it will be written as y is equals to 8 minus the value of x in that case is 4 plus 4 times of square root of 2 iota and similarly we put this value of x here and you get y equals to 8 minus x the value of x in this case is 4 minus 4 times of square root of 2 iota so here we need to simplify these two uh, terms and we easily get the values of y so first we multiply this negative sign on each of these values and it will be written as 8 minus 4 minus 4 times of square root of 2 iota and 8 minus 4 becomes 4 minus 4 times of square root of 2 iota so this is the value of y corresponding to the value of x is this one and similarly uh, we need to simplify these terms and we get the second value of y so here you have 8 we multiply this negative sign on both of these values it will be written as minus 4 plus 4 times of square root of 2 iota so we get the value of y is equals to 8 minus 4 becomes 4 plus 4 times of uh, square root of 2 iota so this is the value of y uh, corresponding to the value of x is this one so finally we have uh, there are two solutions of the given equation so the first solution is that we have 4 plus 4 times of square root of 2 iota and 4 minus 4 times of square root of 2 iota and this is 4 minus 4 times of square root of 2 iota and 4 plus 4 times of square root of 2 iota so these are the two solution sets of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos